hello, 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 guys. Yes, I did just cheerlead you on. I cannot be the people's cheerleader without cheering you on. Why am I cheering you? Because you're deciding to take some of your uh, non-refundable time and you're spending it with us, aka me, because I want to be selfish in the moment. So uh, it was my time. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so grateful that you decided to enhance your life on tonight. Uh, and I have a very special VIP with me on tonight. But before I share my VIP with you, with you. I need you to do me a super, super, super huge favor. I need you to dig deep into so into this show. I am not asking you for a financial contribution. That is not what I'm saying when I ask you to sow. I'm asking you to sow the seed of sharing. Uh, I was always raised by the statement of sharing is caring. So show me you care and share this show with somebody. You never know who's like you're going to, to help or who's like you're going to enhance. Especially with this VIP that I have for me tonight, okay? So I have this lady. She is hailing all the way from ATL. She's a comedian. Uh, she's an author. She's an educator. And guess what? She's currently at Georgia State University to finish up PhD. She's a smarty pants for her to be able to do such a thing like that. Uh, but prior to that, she graduated from Clark University with her bachelor's in mass communications, which explains to me something. I understand now why she loves to talk. That is no shade, so don't come back on here coming for me. <laughs> so uh, she has dreams, goals, and aspirations of having her own nationally syndicated radio TV show. So y'all better be used to seeing her face, okay? So with that being said, I am going to present to you none other than Miss Rob, yo! <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Hola, come on, come on, come on, star. Come on, star. No, we ain't doing, no, we ain't doing that. I Miss don't Wolf, go past. Miss no, I don't go past. Uh, 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 shalom. Uh, uh, hello. <laughs> Uh, mama say, mama say, matusa. Mama say, mama say, matusa. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Not, I'm sorry. Not, yeah, little, See, but you got me sorry, so that was your fault. But maybe I can do that. <laughs> First off, I love how you said sharing is caring. I want to put something out there. Sharing is caring except STDs. Y'all need to stop sharing those, okay? Shout out to the couples out there sharing the same STD medication, okay? And let me tell you something as well. A lot of these couples ain't happy. They just got herpes. All right, that's uh, that's who I am. Kendra Crump is in the building. Kendra <laughs> Crump is in the building. <laughs> I mean, not out of that, and I just want to itch. I just want to like fix myself. Like God darn, like man, I ain't never had one of those. But God darn, I'm, it is my prayer and desire that I never ever get an STD in my. Okay. <laughs> okay. Knock on wood in the name of Jesus. It ain't gonna happen. That's right. In the name of Jesus, you careful, man. You are very you are very careful. Like you just everything about you is just queendom. Okay. Like everything. Like you got that snapper. As soon as soon as men get with you, they get naked already. Okay. Listen, they be calling your mama. Tell her to unblock me. Tell them stop playing with me, man. They be doing that ugly boohoo crying. They got your name tatted on them, so you so you know it's real. Come oh, on now. Let me tell you something funnier. I do have two guys that have my name on them. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! I can't say that. So do I. No! Yeah. I'm about to play with you today. <laughs> that's why that's why we connect man that's why we connect um yeah. thank you for having me on miss yeah. tiffany i appreciate you you are um thank you for number one responding back to my dm i know you get like a lot of bs type of messages and everything else like that people be like oh can i uh you 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 know can, can i see your feet um you want to go yeah. out with me will you be my african queen yeah will, um, what else do they say um booty pictures you got some how much for sex like uh, honey the same thing i be getting i'm like sir like you can't afford me i always tell men this cat don't make no macaroni sounds if you ain't got no cheese okay that's that's it talk talk that was, I want to hit my button, but I can't because that's the wrong button to hit. So, listen, these people really be asking for these kind of stuff. But see, here's the catch is they'll come into my inbox, and when they come in my inbox, I don't 
might have to bring up the situation in regards to money. And I don't want to make it seem like I'm a whore, but you started it. So you're asking me, hey, can I see pictures? Can I see? And my response is always, that's pay-per-view. So you're not watching the game without paying for it. That's not happening. So, but even then, even if they did decide to pay, depending on who they are. You know, hey, listen, they they just that's why I don't take nothing on social media series. I'm just here to tell my jokes, tell people mm-hmm. I'm an author, come meet great people like yourself, get on these podcasts and, and connect. That's it. That's it. The love, the love right here. So. so tell me today, what are you thankful for? Life. I'm I'm happy to be alive. I'm I, that's the main like you know, in the in the past, my answer was something that probably was shallow or whatever, but I'm just happy to be alive. Whenever that's you know, I love doing you you mentioned God um right before we had started recording and stuff like that. And 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 I love doing random acts of kindness. And one of my fa- favorite Bible verses is don't let your left hand know what your right hand's doing. Um and and so many people love to showcase their their good, you know, uh their good deeds, which I mean, you know, my honest opinion, if it's something good, you don't have to record it. Like, like, you know, you don't need to record that. People they say, oh, it's to motivate other folks. People know to do the right thing, you know to pay it for it, right? Like you, you know, so and then people say, Is there anything that I can pray for you on? I said, listen, just you know, pray that I'm here to 120 whenever God sees me be fit. Like that, that's <laughs> Yeah, I'm look, I'm be old with my like pimp cane too. That's it, man. It's gonna be sparkling and everything else like that. Come no, on, like, no. No, hey, come on now. <laughs> you pimping ain't easy, but it's necessary, player. Look, that's why you got the two men name tag. Hey, they they tag. Come on now. Let's keep it real now. Let's keep you know, I listen. Let me, you know, after we're gonna have a talk, man, because I I I can learn some things from you. I, let me find out. Let me find what who you were before i bet you had a whole street name too but we ain't gonna put that out there we ain't gonna do all that <laughs> here we go again that's pay-per-view <laughs> i'll talk to you about that so, uh, there's a cost on that one mm. i'm picking at you i'm picking at you i don't see the um uh, are you single i am i am actually single and i'm and I'm actually, I can actually say that I'm proud to be single because um, a year ago I was depressed. I was, you know, even me doing comedy, people think that I'm not depressed or I don't get sad or so. And I do. I, I really do. Like, you know, I still have the emotions. I just try to laugh because um, prison doesn't sell oxtail or have pasta like I want them to. So I'm, you know, and I can't be gay no more. You know, I try, I look at the women's restroom. I'm like, bro, I can't let cat. This is disgusting. Y'all don't clean up after y'all self. Good grief. <laughs> Come on, they, they oh. think it ain't oxtail, but they selling some tail in, in the jails. Yeah, ain't not my tail. Child. I'll be ran through this cat. Cat gonna be looking like um uh wait this cat gonna be looking like you know uh those uh baby shoes are for the rear view mirror it's gonna be hanging the lips gonna be hanging child I ain't got time for that anyway back to the story but no I actually I'm I'm happy to I am actually happy because one thing I've learned is I can get in a relationship I can get in a relationship today and be single tomorrow because oftentimes people get in relationships for the wrong things they want to get in for the pleasure going out of town you know sex and it's like more than that like what happens when your significant other is feeling down or how are you going to be able to uplift them? You know, it's, 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 of course we want all the good, but like relationships are work and you have to work at it daily. Mm-hmm. You know, what happens when your significant other uh, cheats on you? Are you going to just up and leave? No, won't you guys? I mean, I think yeah. most people in the beginning will say yes, but if they spend mm-hmm. so much time with someone infidelity, as I've learned or cheating, isn't really as serious as I think people don't make it out to be because it's like, Hey, that's not the worst thing, apparently, right. you know. So other stuff plays into a part. So yeah. So now I'm nosy. Now that you said that, so if cheating ain't the worst thing, does that mean that you might be open? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm listen, listen. I, I hey, hey, hey. I'm still no. I, I, I for me personally. And for me personally, I, I I think my deal breakers right now. I'm still in my 20s, so you know maybe when I you know hit a different point or or, or so. Um, and then of course, if I'm married, I mean, if, if I get cheated, you know, hopefully I won't, but if I find out there's just infidelity in my marriage, you know, five, 10 years in, we got a family, like, do I just up and leave? Like, you know, and, and, you know, I don't know. I think my deal breakers, honestly, for what I, for right now. Okay. Right. We're um, talking right now. Cause it could change. You, any type of abuse, verbal, physical, uh, financial people don't talk about financial abuse a lot. 
financial. What does financial abuse look like? Withholding. Okay, not paying child support. Okay. Uh, okay. Like or, or some type of support. Not you know like basically withholding. Um, uh, like if you guys have like a joint account, which I don't know, do you agree with joint accounts or do you not agree? With Absolutely. That? I definitely do. But I also believe in having a separate ones. So I'm going to have my own and then we're going to have a joint account. Of course, he can have his own also. But I, I still want to exercise a level of independence. I know the two became one. Yeah. However, comma, <laughs> I still believe in a level of independence. So, I mean, whatever comes out the joint deals. Uh, we could go on vacation, we could do whatever, or even maybe you falling short, you need some whatever, like you're going to go get some coffee from Dunkin' because Tiffany runs on Dunkin', but you might want to go get some in your your personal account slow. Join the account, it's no big deal. Um, but I definitely believe in independence and togetherness. I think, yeah, and also I think I'm going to say this as well. I've come across people who have messed up with finances where they, maybe they were, person was gambling. They had like a gambling addiction. You know, so that's financially abusive. They're spending all their money on stuff that had that, that is uh, like, bro, like you over, you 35 years old talking about, oh, I just got my new Jordans. Bro, get alive. Nobody cares anymore. Mm -hmm. Nobody like you're sitting here spending your money on that and you got to feed your kid, feed our kids. So if he's financially responsible, can he get Jordans? I'm only asking that because I got a problem with shoes. <laughs> it's a me thing. Um, okay, so I, I, I'm, on, I'm honestly a believer of splurging on yourself, I would say, maybe once. Uh, well, once a month is cool, you know? Once every other month is cool, you know, stuff like that. You know, but at the same, if you look in your closet and you realize in your closet you got 60 pairs of shoes and you ain't worn half of them, Give them away to somebody, you know, like just or 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 whatever it might be. I, you can't tell people what to do with their money, but sure, sure, sure. Say splurge, splurge on a vacation, go to Bora Bora, okay. you know, like not, something like that should be cool. Something like that should is nice. So, what would your splurge item be? You know what, my splurge item, my splurge item, I would say. I need to like dress a little bit more feminine, you know. I give off a little bit tomboyish ish, you know. I, I, I want yeah, to hear this. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It looks good. It looks really good. I will say. My son says I look like his little brother. <laughs> <laughs> I will say some heels. I can do some heels. I like, I like, I'm a Nike, like low Nike dunks. So I'm cool with that. Those are my splurge items right there. That That's it, you know. And I haven't bought shoes and over a year so yeah and i can actually i can i can't even go to the thrift store thrift and the, and the expensive like the, the the wealthy neighborhoods i can do it you cannot sleep on them thrift stores and thrift stores will bless your life and you'd be shocked, shocked and surprised and be like oh wait a minute good summer. Exactly. somebody come to your house and they'd be like where did you get that from don't even worry about it but for me i do share because <laughs> again exactly. people don't understand that there are certain things that i don't want to share there might be like a certain restaurant that I like to go to because that's my moment of peace. So I really don't want to happen to run into this. Exactly. My... Exactly. Like this ain't Waffle House or IHOP. I understand. Uh, no. So this is my spot. However, I do believe in sharing, you know, like, hey, this is where I got this. This is like, girl, I took this from my sister's closet, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been shopping, shopping hella hard in my mama's closet, honey. That's what I do. That's what I do. I could, if I could shop in my mama's closet, I probably would. So until then, I just stick with my god sister's closet. Anybody else who's around my size, uh, mostly male. So. Like plus size, are you? Would you consider yourself a BBW? Absolutely not. Fluffy? Yeah, I'm fluffy, but I am not. Yeah, you, you got that arm jiggle. That Dude, jiggle my arm? Arm? Yeah. <laughs> he says it's a jab bag, so I got it. <laughs> Solid 10, though. Like, I would stand up, but I don't want nobody to get turned on. So, that's like, I'm a solid 10. Um, I'm finally proud to be the size that I am because it took me forever. I've always been a skinny girl. So, now that I finally got my adult weight on me, I like it. Um, so, and I'm trying to do from having uh, children as well. Because, well, you have two kids. How many kids do you have? I have three adults 26, 25, and 21. And okay. now I got a grandbaby. <laughs> Okay. Well, let me let me ask you. With you being um, a season, do you, do you call yourself a cougar or? Absolutely, you, I do. Girl, I be roaring all over this place. <laughs> you get hollered at as you've gotten older. Do you get hollered at by more younger, older, your age, or all three? 
everybody. Nobody's off limits. I was actually away this weekend. I shouldn't tell the story. I was actually away this weekend. And as I was away, there was a gentleman um, who was much lighter than me. Like the kind of light that when I don't put lotion on, my hands turn that kind of color. So he was okay. looking like Lionel Richie. Okay, got you. <laughs> lighter than, but got you. Mm -hmm, you're okay. Right. Yeah, that's You're awesome. Awesome. Uh, like about, albino huh? no, that's rude. Um, I said about, uh, albino ish. Yeah, no, no, can't do that. We're just gonna go over to the next persuasion. Okay, got you. Lovely, yeah. lovely. And so I was in there. And he was an older guy. When I tell you older guy, I'm talking about like one foot, one place, and the other. We don't let him slip because he's going in the grave, kind of like old. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. So I was pushed my little cart. I was just so excited to be at the grocery store. Like, I'm like, mm -hmm. so I'm pushing my little cart and he happened to do one of these little numbers. And that's the worst thing that you can ever do when I walk past you because I got some hits on me. And that's the worst thing you to do is. So he decided to open up the conversation and I had the conversation back with him. Hi, how are you doing? Anybody speaks to me, I speak back. Nobody is ever a stranger. Of course. When of course, same here, so, same here. Yeah, I just kind of talk to him like, hey, okay, or whatever. He says, are you single? Yeah, I am single, completely single. Nobody can lay claims on me at all. Like, I'm not in a situationship. I'm not in a relationship, and it's pending. There's none of that. Like, I love um, that, and it's pending. I love that. I'm sorry <laughs> using that. I love that. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm single. So he was like, oh, okay. He said, so I just want you to know I'm an old man, but my dick still works. I was wow. Like, oh, Said, said it just like that. He just came out. He, look, he using that blue dolphin. That's that rhino pill. He he's first name and base with the gas station guy. I love it. Okay, come on. You gotta stay away from that gas station stuff. His, his little chest might stop. But I thought it was just very interesting, and I was just like, I'm very rarely ever speechless. But woman, when I tell you, I was just like, oh, oh, um, oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> but. It was just kind of like shock. So I said, you probably couldn't even afford me. And so he said, well, hey, I, I was married three times. I said, did any of them leave you anything? He said, well, I mean, they left me my dick. He said it again. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I said, yeah, I'm going to go. I said, well, you know, since we're in the aisle together, it looks like you're on your way to the, to the, what do you call those? Uh, check out. Check out. Look like you're on your way to the register is what I told him. I said, look like you're on your way to the register. I can turn my card around. I was like, and I want this little Stella that's right here. I said, you want to get me the Stella? He was like, are you going to give me some? I said, you know what? Don't worry about it. I, 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 I got my own money. <laughs> Don't worry. Bye. You're just so bold just to say like, hey, I want some of that. And I'm like, if you can't, you can't, you can't I don't care if your thing work or not. That ain't working for me. <laughs> That's just, I mean, that to me is just, it's just tacky. That is, that is just trash. Why would you, for him to, like, I'll tell you, you know what, these old men, bro, they, they don't, they, they, they ain't no better than the younger ones. The men, some of these men are just going to be like, they, they just don't get any better. I promise you, I tell you, it's, and it's, it's, they don't care. They really don't care. You know, I, I, I just. Well, hold on, say that again. I didn't hear it. You get hit on a lot? Online, online is really like that's the most, but in person, once maybe twice a month, if okay. that. And you're in Atlanta, yes. So, being in Atlanta, stereotype does that mean a lot of females hit on you? No, uh, women don't like me. The women who I want to shoot their shot at me, they don't. The ones who do look like um, eight ball MJG, Trick nope. Daddy, um, nope. Manny Fresh. Um, uh, Lil Boosie Webby, P.O.P. Hold It Down, um, one of those. It's never, it's never ever the ones who, who look like, like you, you're, you're a, a beautiful seasoned woman. It's never people who look like you. It's, it's always the others. I like, would be considered a stem. Uh, no, I'm not a stem. I would be considered a stem. No, I probably yeah, would be yeah, a stem. Yeah. I do have stud-like tendencies at times, but I'm very feminine. So... <laughs> She's gonna get me when she happens to watch this. Um, she taught me well, but she was telling me the difference between films, stems, studs, um, 
Dang, there's so many of them. I was learning it. You know what? You know what stud stands for? Still titties under that shirt. Now I be wondering about studs. I wonder when they shorty kisses their ear, does their dildo stand up in their dresser drawer or the dishwasher? Oh, um, oh hitting. Oh, hit shots. And they really, they still need to listen. They need to still go to the gynecologist. They still got a cooch, sister boy. Okay, you still got a cooch. Go to the gynecologist, sister boy. Sister boy, because I still suck on lady boy. So at least you gave a sister boy. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. But no, it's it's like I said, I don't if, if it is an attractive woman, it probably won't happen until I become a little bit more famous, I guess. I don't know. Like then that's when it'll come out the world worse. But it's like I'm telling you, it's never I'm like, sir, mother sir, please. Like I got dreads. I, like I put the cap on. It's gonna be like too, you know, uh, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Data girl. Um, when I was in my earlier, well, no, no, no. When I was in my earlier part of my twenties, okay. Before I messed around with guys, I did mess around with girls because I know what I like. I said maybe I like women because men are just gross. And then look, I was crying over fingers, you know. Uh -huh. So it was, it was, it was. That was pretty much how that how that went about, you know. Um, so I, I just, I don't know. I, it just wasn't. It, it. I realized women are very annoying. Very uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. and I said, Let me just go back to guys. I'm not really gay, so yeah, I'm like more so like from the you know, chest up. I can't really go down. <laughs> yeah, makes sense, you said you can't really go down. Makes sense, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. So, do you think guys and girls can be friends without sex? Like, can I legitimately have a boyfriend, like boy friend, male friend, girl? Oh, no, of course. No, most definitely you can. I feel like honestly you can. Um, you just have to, because I have a couple of guy friends where it's just that. They don't mm -hmm. look at me that way and I don't look at them in that way and that's how it is. We're good okay. and I love it. I do. I definitely have those, but I know I had put a post up the other day. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little off, so pray my screen. Uh, so I put up a post the other day and I was like listening ears uh, turn into hard dicks. And so there was a few guys that kind of got a little, got a little agitated with me, just tap it. But I was like, it's my reality. So I understand sometimes guys want to just be there to listen. But then there's some guys that are listening and they're just like, okay, well, I got something for you. Yeah. When, when, is it my turn to drop in? Of course. Right. Like, it's not your turn to drop in. I don't want you to drop in. I enjoy you as a friend. I enjoy our friendship. And that's as far as it's going to go. You're not getting out of the friend zone with me. But I really appreciate you thinking of me like that, but it's just not going to work. So <laughs> how would you take that statement? Do you think that that's a bad thing to say? Like, No, it's, it's the truth. That's why they didn't like it. It's the truth. I don't, I don't, truth hurts, man. I'm, it does. And so the fact that they really have an issue about that, they are those guys. It's like, oh, shoot, you caught us. Uh -huh. I don't know. I mean, they it are is those really guys. I'm a whole tomboy. I'm the only girl. I got two older brothers. I, I watched and I paid attention to them very well. Are they, were they very <laughs> protective as well, still to this day, or just as they're, time a little, time? they're a little protective, just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. Um, I think the middle, the middle brother, is he definitely shows his protection over the older brother. <laughs> the older brother, he's protective too, but that middle child, <laughs> he thinks he's my daddy. So I'm like, hey. Your brother, just remember that. <laughs> I never had that from my, any of my siblings at all. So, really? yeah, they, they just kind of do their own thing. I'm like the black sheep of my family. It's cool. It's fine with me. How many? How many it's five siblings? of us all together. Okay, and you fall where? So, sister, brother, sister, me, brother. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I really mm -hmm. wish I, I want a sister. I have a god sister, and I just call her sister all the time. So there's certain people that probably think that I really have a real life blood sister. I'm my daddy's only child, and I'm my mother's third child. So oh, um, no. <laughs> yeah, were your parents actually um, married, or? Yep, they were married. My daddy found out that um, I was here. Super excited, super grateful. Um, mm -hmm. Then he was like, "This is gonna be my one and done." So oh, my mother. Uh, had two boys prior to me before she met uh, my dad. So maybe that could have been why he was like, snip, because I got two boys and then her. That's enough. Wait, so, he went to go get neutered? Like, he definitely did. He's totally nude. <laughs> <laughs> totally. 
So I guess I followed his footsteps because he got neutered and I got spayed. So <laughs> no, no more. Three's enough. Three's a crowd. That's it. No. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. That's it. You're like, I'm done. We're dead. I know. I know me. I'm fertile. That's it. Man, especially time during one time a year. So my kids' birthdays are. Oh friends. yeah. Oh, you know what? You know what? Most. Hey, listen. Hey, hey. You don't want to be like, oh man, I'm on my seventh child. Right. Just, it, no. Like no. Mm -mm, no. I'm good. No. Third one. That was charmed. Good. I have my grand opening, my grand closing. That's it. So, not so tell me this before we get ready to transition into the game. Tell me this because I know you're a comedian. Um, and I know your whole author out here in these streets. Tell us about this book life, and do you have anything coming up? Um, as far as yes, you? let me show you my book. Not let me show it to you. Here it is, Diamond in the Rough. Yeah, rough. there it is. Yes. I love yes. it. So, about this. What is this? So, Diamond and Rough, this is my very first book. This is a uh, drama romance suspense. It's not based on true story, guys. I promise you it's not because I will be incriminating myself. All right. So, uh, drama romance suspense based, uh, like I say, fictional. Just came, God gave me the idea in my head back in 2016 when I first enrolled into Clark Atlanta as well. Okay. And and there it is, just so everybody, like I say, you guys, it's on Amazon, okay? Okay. okay. I have the Kindle, and I have the paperback, and then I'm actually writing my second book as well. Um, I got a fair name for that um, and everything else like that. And so, yes, I'm, I'm excited, and I'm proud. And it's about a um, 25-year-old Florida Atlanta native who okay. has to flee from Florida to get to Georgia to get away from her crazy ex-boyfriend. While living out here, she falls in love with a guy named Nick. Okay, she has a best friend named Katrina, twin sister named Tisha. They all got their own individual story to tell. Only one makes it out alive in the end. So there it is, drama, romance. Is it, there's a little romance in there. So since there's a little romance in there, is just romance, or is it like it's a little bit of sex? You know, about a couple pages. Oh, pages, you know. So there it is. I really gotta get that there. You know, so I mean, you know, it's it's classy, it's classy, it's classy. I hear it. I love hearing it. I love it. So, okay, last question that I'm gonna ask you, like sincerely. So, you got all this good studying in you because you went to some major universities out here. So, yes, I, I hope you gain more knowledge than you got deals <laughs> to do in regards to them student day alone. Well, who knows? That that's a big bill right there. If anybody out there wants to pay that, I will love you forever. You should listen, the Aunt Jodeci said, "I love you for life." So that's let's oh yes, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Definitely got you. What made you want to get into clinical social work, though? Originally, it was like child psychology. Okay. Now I went to clinical, thought about clinical psychology. Then mm -hmm. the person, um, good friend of mine, was like, "Kendra, cut out the middleman. Do clinical okay. social work." Simply because, you know, when it comes with psychology, you got to do research for the rest of your life. That's what they don't tell you. OK, I don't think you want to do that. And that's going to take right. you like 10 years later. Clinical well, social work, you can get your doctorate in two years. Yep. Call me Dr. Crump. I'm out and I'm making excellent money. Good. I look, I'll take you. You and me. We're going to board. Have you been to Bora Bora yet? No, no. Let's go. We go on my, on my dime. You didn't catch that. What'd you say? I said, but I have smelled the perfume. No. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, or Greece, Santorini, Greece. Have you been there? Nope. I did that yet. You know, I got the whole passport and I got to put some more stamps in that. It's okay. We're going to stay, fly around the world. I'm so serious. I'm not that I'm black so person. Serious. Just be like, oh, we're going to, I'm serious. Five years from now. Okay. Mm -hmm. You. You're going to be living, you're going to be uh, hanging out with a billionaire probably by that time anyway. So we all going to go. You know, you know, I'm receiving that for my life. I'm going to be hanging out with them. I'm going to be spending money with them. Like, mm -hmm. I very well could be that billionaire, and they don't even know that I'm a billionaire. They just want to treat me too nice. Okay? That's right. You know That's what? Right. You might be on something. <laughs> right. I, I spoke into existence. I spoke yeah. into existence. I believe it. We're we speaking life over here, so I appreciate you. That's <laughs> it. So we're coming down to the part of the show that happens to be my favorite. Well, All right, my favorite. So the game is called this or that. And with that game that, we, uh, that we're getting ready to play, I am going to ask you three questions. And in the process of me asking you three questions, you got to give me your answer and tell me why you chose it. 
Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I'm, I'm going to get in my Zen mode. Okay. Okay. You don't need to get that. You don't need to get that. First question. You ready for it? Let's do it. Take amazing selfies, uh, but all your other pictures are horrible. Or take breathtaking photographs of anything but yourself. I think breathtaking photographs of anything but myself because I'd be like taking 700 photos of myself. I'm like, bro, this looks so ugly. I waste all that time. And a breathtaking photograph is just like, oh my goodness, like, how'd you get that? I'm like, I don't know. I got it. I got it. Man, they're going to want everybody. Everybody's going to want you. Most sought after individual. I see what you did there. Gotcha. That's it. That's Next it. question. Be able to take back anything you say or hear any conversation that's about you. Oh, no. Take back anything that I say, child. I don't want to be hearing everybody's conversation. I don't want that living rent free in my head. Some things I wish I'm like, baby, why did you just say that, Kendra? Yeah. Now you gotta, you gotta clean it up. Now you gotta do an apology tour. I'm tired for that. We got time for that. <laughs> Makes sense. I see what you did there. Last question. Final question. Have unlimited therapy, a uh, free therapy sessions forever, or have one three-hour life session with Dr. Unlimited therapy session forever. Free. Okay. Free, free. And, and free, because free. of the fact that I'm always going through some, if I can get anything free without having to give up no tail or do anything else, no neck, no lip, no eyeball, no nose, no ear, no foot. Not a thing. I would love that. Because even at 120 with my pimp can, I'm going to still need somebody to talk to. You know what? <laughs> You would have had to I believe it. You know what? Because you just said that so many dogs on time. I real life believe you got to be 120. You're gonna be on the on the news and say the the next oldest lady, she just celebrated her birthday. <laughs> and I'm still gonna be looking like I'm probably about 40 years old. Put I'm your secret pink sperm on my face. You should try it. Oh what? Well, you know what? I almost I almost showed something different that I shouldn't have did. I'm glad I caught myself. <laughs> Flashback. Be fine now, man. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna say no flashback, but I just almost got ignorant, right? Just right then and there. <laughs> you got a final word that you want to leave with everybody? Yes. Um, on a serious note, um, put God before anything else, and I know that's so cliche, but. When I'm saying that's I'm so serious. Like without God, I am nothing, you know. And I, I thank him every day for my life. So that's it. And go after your dreams, whatever you want to be. Okay. If you want to go be a prostitute, don't go to you be the best hooker out there. Okay. If you want to be a drug dealer, you better be out there selling those drugs from day and night. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Whatever and I promise you, that was my mother's famous statement that she always used to say to us, whatever you're gonna be, be the best at whatever you're gonna be. <laughs> so when you say that, I'm like, memories, yes, makes me feel fine. I'm not saying that. Nevertheless, <laughs> I appreciate you. I swear, we need to do this again. Well, yes. Bring me on some. And I'm, you want me, you need to come on my podcast too. Wait a minute. Well, hey, you can't threaten me with a good time. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you sharing your non-refundable time with us. Hopefully, your life has been enhanced. And with her, you've got several laughs. <laughs> so with that being said, tune in with me next week. At the same Hear My Heart time on the same Hear My Heart, Heart channel. <laughs> Great to be here, y'all. Hey y'all, it's Tiffany Rochelle here and I have a few offers just for you. The first one is my book and it's called I Choose Me. Now I have had to fight in some type of way or another, but the best fight that I fought is the battle of me. The old me versus the emerging me. Now the old me always threw some good punches, but the emerging me knew how to stick and move because I learned the art of endurance. I'm so much better than my past hate was and is so hard to hold on to. Choose to let love abide. 
Try to hold hate with love. And you tell me who is strong. The second offer is a workbook I have called Gold Digger. Now, there are about 47 activities that we will go through so that you will be able to crush some of your goals for your life. You purchasing this book is one of the first of many steps to bettering your life. There's action plans that you can take action on and they should be incorporated into a daily planned routine. For Lastly, I have a course on forgiveness. Forgiveness isn't just a nice thing to do. It can also be a powerful tool to bring marvelous change in your life. In this course, you'll learn how to effectively use the skills of forgiveness to help you lead a more peaceful and satisfying life. You will be introduced to the basics of forgiveness, including what it is and how it can affect you. So today, unleash the power of forgiveness to create a more meaningful life. Next, I want you to learn that it is okay for you to choose you. And lastly, develop a mindset to see and crush some of your goals. Looking so forward to growing with you. I'm excited for you and your growth. Grace and peace.